Hey guys, this is Blake with Moonshot All Stars, and this is a video of how to restore your Cardano wallet from Secret.Key on Mac OS. So let's get started. Uh, I've assumed that you've copied your files over, uh, or saved them, or still have them in the current directory. So We'll go from there. First thing we want to do on a Mac is go ahead and get the latest version of the Daedalus wallet. Just go here, download it, get it up and running um, because it may take a while to sync if you haven't done that yet. So next, we'll open our terminal. And we'll need to install Brew for Mac. So I'll go through that now. Let's copy the install script right here. Paste it and we're off. Take a minute to install here. And by the way, this tool, it should come out soon in the latest build. Um, but if you don't want to wait, if you want to get ahead of everyone, uh, you've just been waiting to restore your wallet, you want to go ahead and get it going, uh, I would suggest following this guide and it'll take care of it. I'm going to go ahead and go to GitHub uh, to the right guide here. You can see I definitely use the community to get this going. Uh, so I would suggest donating to anyone on this page that have, might help you out if you get stuck, uh, especially KTORS. Uh, he's the guy behind it all. But we'll get down here and get to the commands that we need. And like I said at the start, you can go ahead and get your wallet up, running, syncing. This is a new wallet that I created. Um, otherwise, it'll just that'll be time you'll have to wait at the end of this video. All right. After brew is complete, we need to install a couple more tools here. First one is wget.
The second will be Node.js. All right, now we want to grab the wallet restore code. Let me go over here to my cheat sheet. Paste that here in the terminal. Now we'll navigate to that directory. We'll need to run the npm commands, make sure it installs dependencies and such. Now we will need to install some missing dependencies. Now we need to modify the actual script file here. Uh, typo, of course. Let's fix that. This first line here, we need to modify this. And And we will save this. Now we'll basically need to run the restore script here. Make sure you add the secret dot key to the end of it. And I'm not gonna run mine here, but basically what you'll see is
the output's going to be in this format here. And then what we need to do now is basically make this whole command here. Uh, what you need to do is you need to fill in the port, your encrypted root private key, oh, here, and your passphrase hash. So three places. I've also marked them. You can see them in the comments. Um, so yeah, basically we're done here. You run the restore command. It's going to give you some information. You basically put that information in this whole command here. Um, if you use uh, Daedalus Flight, you'll have to change this right here. Um, but otherwise, it should be the same. And this is how you get the port. You just go to your Daedalus Wallet. Uh, you just go to the main page here. You press Command D. Pulls up a bunch of information. If you look down here, you have your Cardano wallet port. You can see mine is 58254 right now, but that changes pretty much every time you load it. Um, also, after you've restored your wallet, you'll see it here. It'll be designated as an older wallet. Uh, from there, you can create a new wallet, transfer, do what you need to do. Um, at that point, you're done, you can create a new wallet, you can transfer this uh, to a different wallet, uh, as long as you know your uh, master key, I guess, or confirmation key. Uh, most people know that password. Um, or you could just wait till the new wallet comes out and you can do it uh, through the GUI, but I thought I'd get this out here first. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, look in the comments. Uh, to see any details, uh, please leave feedback. Thank you.